Here. Okay, welcome to iLecture Online, and here we're going to take talk about our next shape. And I kind of have to hang on to this, otherwise it's going to collapse. But it's called the tetra tetrahedral molecules. So tetrahedral molecules have one central molecule, as you can see, and four molecules that are at the very ends of the four bonds that it makes. So this would be a good example of what we'd call CH4, which is, of course, the methane molecule. One carbon at the center, four hydrogens. They all form a nice bond with two electrons in each bond. And notice that those electrons would like to be as far away from one, each, from one another as possible. So this is the shape that they're going to end up with, something that looks like this. It's called the tetrahedral shape. Now, you may ask yourself the question, well, why doesn't it form a planar bond like that? Wouldn't all hundred and nine point five degrees so theta in this case would be hundred and nine point five degrees so simply the force of repulsion forces it into that shape because in that shape that is the largest possible angle you can have between the four sets of bonded electrons or electrons that are used in the bonds I should say they're not really bonded electrons of course they're electrons used in the bonding between carbon and the four hydrogens so that's why it turns out that from electrical repulsive forces alone it will go ahead and form itself into this kind of molecule like that now on the VSEPR um, notation remember that was the valence shell electron pair repulsion concept of how molecules are formed we have, the, we have one central atom and we have four terminal atoms, so that's where we end up with the methane molecule. In that respect, anytime you have a shape, a shape made from this kind of arrangement of molecules, one in the center and four on the, on the ends of the bonds, you'll end up with what we call a tetrahedral shape with the bond angles of 109.5 degrees. At that point, they're as far away from each other as possible. Also note that the molecules right here, the hydrogens, do not have free electrons, so there's no repulsive forces there. So this is kind of as clean as a good an example as you can get for this kind of shape. 